Good morning, everyone. Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler. Welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive into the cards and see what's in store with a message from Spirit. Whoa! Those flew right out. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. How are you all doing this Monday? Uh, I hope you had a beautiful weekend. New energies at play. We are in Mercury retrograde. Curious how that's going for you. Again, don't take it too seriously. And uh, also I want to say I did put out the last of the Q&A podcast today. So check that out. Definitely. Okay, let's see what's in store. Jumping again? Oh, that's a lot of jumper spirit. I don't know. Okay, they're like, okay, okay, okay. Let's start again. Let's start again. <laughs> they are becoming quite the comedians through these readings. I have to say it's quite funny. <clears throat> okay. Starting again. Let's get some clarity, spirit. <clears throat> Let's do this nice and smooth. Okay. One jumper. Here we go. Okay, so again, well not again, but sort of again. They're in this energy of like moving and shaking, moving and shaking. And that's literally what they're saying. They're like, we're moving and shaking. And I was like, why? And they're like, because there's so much to be done this week. And it makes sense because it's the lead up to the solstice. Lead up to the solstice on Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, depending where you are. So some big energies at play. Oh, do I ever understand this? Okay. I love this. So the jumper... The general jumper right now is connect to the cosmos. This says open to other dimensions. This makes sense. This is why spirit is like, there's so much going on, so much happening right now. We're, we're getting things done, alignments, synchronicities, all of this. It helps if we open our hearts to those higher dimensions. Now, that doesn't mean you have to stay in that higher dimension in your consciousness, like holding that high frequency, because if you do, you're missing out on the 3D. What this means though is opening your heart to the more, to those higher frequencies, to those beautiful cosmic alignments, to all of the spirit help that is desiring to come through. Open your heart. That's the umbrella jumper for this here. Now, the reason why they're saying this, and I love this, is because changing seasons, this card says embrace change. Changes are underway. Change is happening. Alignments are happening. All of this is coming together for you, leading up to the solstice, the powerful energy. So change is on the horizon. Now, in order to tap into this, there's two things that Spirit is saying, which really does connect into our jumper card of connect to the cosmos. One of them is to open your crown chakra. So this says receive in, in, inspiration, receive inspiration. This is so that you can be a really clear kind of conduit of information because the information coming in is claircognizance. This says tap into your intuition. Your intuition, your divine knowings, that just knowing of something is going to be on high this week leading up to the solstice. This is really beautiful. And this is so that it can really help facilitate these changes. This is to absolutely work in your favor. Spirit wants to work in your favor. Okay, they're saying now go for the next part. So. Let's see what the next part is. They're starting off with such a strong, bold energy this week. This is really neat. But I want to say this bold energy feels like I'm like preparing for a party. So it's a bold, good energy. It's like, you know, when you're setting up for a big party, a big bash, and you have to do all these setups and the food, and there's a lot to do, but you're completely happy to do it because of what it means. That's the energy I feel. Spirit is talking about divine in inspiration. Okay, I get it. Now, in terms of how this intuition is also coming through, Spirit is saying, here's a couple things. To make yourself even more open to it, it would be beneficial for a smudge. Okay, so today would be a great day for you all to cleanse your energy and your aura somehow, whether that's smudging, whether it's having a sacred bath or a sacred shower, uh, maybe you release and clear your energy through sound and dance, whatever it might be. Time to smudge, clear your energy, they say. 
Next part is, this week it's important to swan dive and be daring. There are gonna be some beautiful synchronicities that come up for you that are gonna require you to feel into that claircognizance here. You're gonna get that knowing and you're gonna get that divine like, yes. And when you get that divine yes, swan dive. Again, wait for the resonance and swan dive because your ancestors are really here. They're in, they're close. Your guides are close as well because there is such an open portal kind of like energy. And I love that these are like nice purple cards that high frequency consciousness is coming through. And it's allowing these messages from our ancestors, from our guides to really be heard so that we can take these action steps in this changing time right now. This is really so much about aligning this new timeline that I've been talking about. I'm going to be talking about it so much more in Cosmic Consciousness Circle on Wednesday night. So if you're interested and you want to know, I have three different guides coming through to bring insights about what the solstice means, about um, where we're going in 2024. Again, it, it's beautiful. As it was coming through, I was just like, wow, wow, wow. So there's a lot of energetic support that can help explain what's going on too. And if you can tap into your claircognizance, you can get that explanation with more clarity. You're gonna feel it. And Spirit is saying they're going with our strongest gift, which is clairsentience, just like feeling something. But it's more clairsentience and claircognizance. So it's like the direct knowing, but it comes with a feeling and knowing that it's right and that feeling, that resonance within your body where it's harmonized. If something brings through a disharmony, that's not for you. There's something not right about it. If it brings through harmony, then that is definitely something for you. So I will leave that with all of you. Such a strong start to our Monday. I love this. Um, again, if you wanna sign up for Cosmic Consciousness, please do, I would love to see you there. It's on Wednesday night. You can sign up at avalonspirit.com under Cosmic Consciousness Circle and uh, it's going to be a great time. So I will see you all then. Hopefully have a good day and I'll see you tomorrow.